What's up, everybody? I'm Deja. It's your boy Tyler. What's good? Ooh, yeah. Sweet daddy. You thought that was cute? That was beautiful. And we all live in our life to the fullest, to the best of our ability. And we want you to go down below, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so that you can be notified of every video that we post when we post them. So guys, it's been a long, almost two weeks, um, and we really wanted to do a lot of stuff, um, yeah. dealing with vlogmas and all yeah. of that, um, but, um, if you don't know, if you haven't been following us on social media, or if you don't follow us on social media, um, on our other social media platforms, um, my granny passed, um, on December the 15th. Mm -hmm. And um, she just started declining really December. Um, we're not gonna really get into like what was going on, but the main thing was that she had cancer and everything just literally happened so fast. Very um, fast. So if you guys been wondering like where we've been, that's where we've been. And my husband has been by my side. And yeah, I took As off. well as my family. Um, um, I do ask that you just Keep us in your prayers. Um, it's still hard right now. Yes. Um, for me, the grief is like, it's like up and down, like it comes and goes. Mm -hmm. Like if I see something or hear something that reminds me of my granny, of course, you know, the tears just start rolling. Um, today is better. So um, we decided to do this video today. Um, and for those of you who don't really know how my grandmother looked or, you know, you know that never met her, of course. Um, I just want to show y'all this picture. <clears throat> I doubt. of my beautiful granny um a lot of people do say that we look alike um but i'll let you guys be the judge of that i mean of course i do look like my mom if you've seen my mom on social media but i do have some pictures of my granny as well um i'm really gonna miss her she um prophesied that me and Tyler was gonna be together. Yes, she did. Um, she prophesied that we was gonna have a baby. She well, a house. She prophesied this house. Car yep. and a baby. Um, and you know, to me, I'm just like, it just, everything just happened too fast. It was, so, a, it was a quick decline, I really was. She had got sick and then it's like, she just started going down. But what was crazy about it, before she got real sick, for some reason, when DJ told me that her grandmother was sick, the Lord had me to start preparing DJ. And what I mean by that is, I would start telling her, I said, well, DJ, we gonna believe God, she gonna live. I said, because there are people that have had cancer that's, that's been living for years. I said, but if it does not turn out that way. I started cheering with her, how my grandmother started declining. She didn't have cancer, but my, uh, usually when, she, you know, the way my great-grandmother passed, it was similar to Mother Harper in the way of how, how, how fast her health went down. Um, and I was telling DJ, you know, we have to do this, we have to do that. And I was like, DJ, it happened so quick. I said, you know, I was thinking that grandma was gonna live for some more years. I said, and literally like some months later, she died. I do remember like, that Wednesday, yeah, mm -hmm. because that was my um, sister's birthday. Mm -hmm. um, no, that Tuesday, because it was my sister's birthday, um, I went that night and uh, we sung. Me and my sister like sung for her. Her favorite, one of her favorite songs was um, "We Were All Together." 
here in your presence, Lord. So we, me and my sister, we um sung back, and um she would just be one point sing y'all and all of that. Of course, it was emotional. Um, my cousin actually had that video. I don't know if she got the whole entire thing, but we did create memories. She was um. Uh, so excited and so happy to yes, meet our baby yes, girl. Lord. Yes, she was. Like, why did you choose so somebody me? messed up her clothes? Why would you care about <laughs> my life? You <laughs> Now I know that I know that I know that you love me. And I'm sure that I know that I know that you love me. She was so happy. Um, yeah, she she had been calm because we had not let, we didn't let nobody see miracle because of the stuff miracle had gone through, yeah. and so she kept crying. When am I gonna see my miracle? Now we didn't let nobody come to the house at all. We guarded miracle. I mean, it was just everything miracle went through was just it traumatic. was it was for us and for her. So we, of course we were her voices. We still are, but. Mother Harper was so she was a church mother too. She was actually the church mother of DJ's dance church. The lady was. Mother Hawk was so excited when we brought Miracle over there. Her and her husband. And she just kept saying, my, uh, what she said, my, my, my Miracle. My Miracle, Miracle, Miracle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Then she started calling her Big Booty Judy. That's yeah, that was DJ Nick. Yeah, when me and DJ first met, um, my first encounter with Mother Hawk was probably my, before I even got to know her. I didn't know Mother Hawk was. She just said whatever she thought. I said, "I just put it on me." I I wasn't used to that. I had one DJ family house. I don't know what event it was, and um, so they, her grandmother and her granddaddy came on. They was and she was bad, baby. Can look, man. When I say could play some cards, lady okay. could play some cards, spades, man. So she was sitting by the bar. I was sitting in the kitchen, and so DJ mom passed by. She was like, "Big Boo Jew, Big Boo Jew, Big Boo." Big Boo Judy, so that uh, her husband, like Emma, Emma, yeah, they call her Emma. He, he real, real, like, laid back, and like, he talk real slow. But she was like, she said, Harper. That was his nickname. Well, his name is Ellis Harper, but she was like, Harper, Harper. They do got Big Boo Judy. That is, that Big Boo Judy. So then, this thing I know, DJ walked out. She said, yeah, Big Boo Judy again. Big Boo Judy. So DJ was like, hey, granny, yo, shy. Then she said, Tom, Tom. Don't you think I got a big booty? Yeah, big booty Judy. I said, oh my God. <laughs> she kept saying it. She was just loud with it. And they were just laughing, man. They were just laughing, man. She was, she was, she was, she was an awesome woman to be around. She told DJ one time, you fast in a miss. And I had never heard of that. She said, you're fast in a miss. God gonna give you the house. This is what we got in this house. We went up our house. God gonna give you everything you need. Talk, her dad has his own business, uh, laying concrete and stuff. And so DJ wanted me to go out there and do that. And so she said, Tyler ain't gonna be out there now in that sun like that. God done gave him something else. She said, God gonna give y'all what y'all need. And sure enough, y'all, I thank God. She lived to see us get this house. She lived to see us have miracles. She lived to see us get married. And I was telling DJ, that is the blessed part. She got to see DJ do so many things. She got to see that she got to see DJ get married graduate college, high school. They had been asking DJ when she was going to have a child because DJ's the oldest granddaughter. Yeah, and I was like, she was like, no. Nah. <laughs> and they wanted a boy, y'all. They wanted a boy so bad, but we ended up getting a girl. And so Mother Harper said, all right, you got your, your girl. Next round, we want a boy. And so uh, I was thinking about that the other day when God do the us have enough child, she won't be here to see yeah. it. But I thank God for Mother Harper. I really do. I thank God for Mother Harper. Yes, 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 yes. She was such a great person. Like, she was tough. Yes. But she was the type of person, like, she didn't meet a stranger and she would um, give you the shirt off her back if you needed it. Like, yeah, yeah. She was just that type she, of person. She was, she, was a, she was a strong woman of God. The lady was strong in her faith. Um, even when DJ. When we got here, she bought us our first bedroom set. And so DJ was like, well, Granny, you don't need to spend all that money. She said, DJ, can't nobody tell me how to spend my money. This is my money. Who going to tell me how to spend my money? So DJ was like, well, Granny, we just don't want you. She's like, DJ. Like, 
She was very relentless. She did not play with it, like for real. <laughs> she was just so sweet. Ooh. I'm gonna miss my granddad. And funny. The lady was funny and she was sweet. She was. So that's what's been going on with us, y'all. We've had that going. Yeah. And it's just that literally just knocked the wind out of everything. I took off to be with DJ. Um, she had an awesome home going. In fact, the home going was um, on my birthday. Yeah. I didn't really have it in me to um, celebrate my birthday. Um, not because I was just so sad, but I knew like I would be tired and um, the day would be gone by us having the service on um, my um, birthday or whatever. But uh, I consider it an honor, you know, she laid to rest and uh, she's with God and she's embracing eternal life. So, yeah. you know, just keep us in your prayers and uh, we love you guys. Yeah, we love y'all. Until next time, deuces.